In this video, I'm going to show you three simple ways on how you can deal with anxiety and stress. Hello everyone, my name is Ken, and I know that a lot of people have been feeling stressed out lately. Whether it's because of school, work, family, this pandemic, or just other things in life, you might be feeling anxious too. But it's okay, you're not alone. It happens to the best of us. We all experience it from time to time. But there are some really simple things that we can do for overcoming stress and anxiety. That doesn't involve the use of drugs, therapy, alcohol, side effects, or cost. When it comes to stress and anxiety, it is very important that we take action before things get worse. But with that said, we also have to understand that not all stress is bad. Stress can start change, aid us in focusing on the task at hand, and in some cases, it can even save our lives. It's the buildup of stress, or when it's out of control, that it can result in major problems for us. We do not want to allow stress to accumulate uncontrollably in our lives, otherwise the result won't be good. And sadly, at times, it can even be fatal. There are tips and steps that we can use in managing our stress. First thing we need to do is determine and understand the cause of our stress, or the so-called stressors. By recognizing the stressors, we can put each of them in place and deal with them one by one. So let's take a look at three simple ways that we can handle our anxiety and stress. First, practice breathing and relaxing. Oxygen is very important to our body. Taking a deep breath adds oxygen to our system, which can help us to relax. Learning how to breathe can help us to maintain our self-control in stressful situations. You can start by taking a deep breath, stand up and stretch. Always remember the opposite of stress is relaxation. Try taking a short walk, get a glass of water or do something, anything that can change your focus. For example, try smiling and take a short moment focusing on something else other than your problem. If we do this, by the time we get back to our problem, it won't seem nearly as undefeatable. Second, enjoy the good things of life and be positive. Sometimes we forget to enjoy the good things of life if we let stressful events build up. We have to remember that life offers more than work, school, bills, and so on. We want to reserve some of our time to actually recognize the good things in our lives. Every situation, it has both pros and cons. What we need to do sometimes is list them both by writing them down. Then walk away, put them away, and take a second look tomorrow. We've all heard the phrase, sleep on it. Sleeping on a situation can sometimes turn our disadvantages into advantages all because we decided to remove ourselves from the situation for the time being. Sleeping on our problems can help us to clear up some of the negative thoughts and feelings so that we can handle ourselves and life's decisions a little better. This may also allow us enough time for new insights or ideas to come to us as well. It's been proven that when we shift our focus from the negative and focus more on the positive, our emotions won't be so likely to get the best of us. So do yourself a favor, relax your mind, and get some well-deserved rest. And remember, everything in this world exists in a balance. Negative can never occur without the positive. We need to learn to find the good in our stressful situations and try to change every negative event into a positive one. Once we find that balance, we'll have less stress in our life. Third, get to really know yourself and your limitations. 
to manage stress effectively, it is very important to really know yourself and your limitations. Sometimes learning to say no can spare us from a lot of stress buildup. If you are in a working environment, don't just accept workloads if you think you can't manage them easily. By recognizing your limitations, you can avoid situations that will usually lead to the piling up of unnecessary work for yourself. And when it comes to knowing yourself and your limitations, it also means realizing that many situations in life can be or can get out of control very quickly. And when it does, always be positive and refrain from blaming yourself. Because if you continually beat yourself up with guilt, not only will you won't be able to manage your stress, but you'll also more than likely make the situation worse. Now, of course, there are more than just three ways to help us manage our stress. There are several more, like taking a warm bath, watching our favorite show on TV, listening to our favorite song, and so on. These can all help us to relax and melt our anxieties away. The key to overcoming stress and anxiety is taking back control of our thoughts. If you've been feeling overwhelmed by the stresses in your life, I hope this video has been helpful in providing you with some practical tips to help you to be successful. However, if these tips don't work for you, or if you feel like you need more help than this, it may be time to seek a professional. A therapist or someone who understands the workings of stress can make all the difference in how quickly you recover from this debilitating mental health issue. So if you need it, please, Please get the help you need. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You're not alone. Stress affects us all. We all handle it differently. And some of us need more help than others. So don't delay. Take care of yourself. Sadly, some people go about dealing with their stress and anxieties with alcohol, drugs. This doesn't work because once they sober up, the stress is still there. And sometimes it feels like the problem is now bigger than ever. So a person finds himself or herself on this merry-go-round, round and round in circles, but the stress never goes away. Eventually, some realize how unsuccessful they've been trying to use drugs and alcohol to avoid facing their problem. And they find themselves in a 12-step rehabilitation program. We can avoid all this by getting the help we need before it gets to that point. You are never alone, and there are always people in your life who are willing to lend a helping hand. If seeking help from a, from a professional seems like a bit too much for you, reach out to your family, friends, workmates, or even give a self-help book a try. If we manage and plan our time by prioritizing the most important things first, it will help to prevent stress from building up in our lives. So the next time you're feeling overwhelmed, try one of these coping tips mentioned here to help yourself to get back on track in hopes that you will be able to overcome your stress and anxiety. Until next time, good health.